Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School. If not your Hazen Union Lady Cats in action tonight against the Danville Bears. Opening game, uh, home game of the season for your Lady Cats. They opened their season up with a loss up in Emersburg last Friday, I believe it was. So looking to see if a little home cooking will get things going here. Here we are Tuesday. Uh, yeah, Tuesday is what we're at. <laughs> Opening tip. Controlled by Hazen. Quick whistle turns the ball back over to the Bears. A little bit of a history between these two teams. It was the Danville Bears who knocked the Lady Cats out of the playoffs last year over in Danville. Uh, Danville went on to lose to Park in the semifinals of the playoffs last year. So, uh, Good solid season for our girls though last year. Try and match up some names and numbers here as I get my basketball calling legs under me. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on the Cable Dale Streaming Worldwide and Archive at www.hctv.us. Since freshman Isabel Gowan throwing up a shot right there. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Jumpstart your future. GMTCC.lnsd.org. Shot up, rebound. Hazel. Here's Caitlin. Underneath. Shot and the foul. Ella Gillespie. Look to complete the three point play. The old fashioned way, as I like to say. C.J. Powers having a little power at the scorer's table. I think there was some discussion about where the possession arrow was going to go. Gillespie after one. Six. Cats up three zips. Seven ten left to go here in the first. Opening moments of the Hazen Union Lady Cats 2022-23 season. Caitlin down underneath, but shot up. Quick baskets. Coach Lumsden told me before the game that they were going to look to do some press, so a little helter-skelter out here and create some turnovers and make some points. Plan worked perfectly on that possession. Randy Lumsden taking over for Tim Whitney, coached a number of years. Randy, a basketball, long time of basketball stalwart. Shot underneath, no call. Caitlin with the rebound. Caitlin drives. Looking at Dish, I think, over to the last one. Kind of lost the handle. Did our best to have a whiteout here tonight with the opening game of the season. The freshly falling snow on the side. Did the best we could. Bears were inbounds. Lacey Potter on the inbounds. Gets it to Sloan Morris. Off the rim, rebound. Bears fighting for it underneath. Uh, Cats, mid Cats with possession. Caitlin. Tickles the twine, as my buddy James Salvis likes to say. Unfortunately, I didn't go through the hoop. Danny on camera tonight. How you doing, Danny? Get the thumbs up. JV game, uh, long three right there by Potter, didn't go. Rebound, that's a little Clark with the ball, dishes it off. Underneath, Sadie Young. Back out to Kylie Hall. Down underneath, Pat Potter. Puts up a shot, has it go. Lacey Potter with her first points of the game. Makes it 5-2 Hazen. 5-40 left to go here in the first. It was the uh, JV in a runaway in uh, the JV game tonight. I can't remember the exact final score, but it was 
Sloan Morse with the foul is going to send Caitlin to the line. Let's just say it was uh, too much, too little. Sub comes in, that's Lauren Jonkus, a freshman. Caitlin has the second free throw, gets a cast a five point lead. Denver with not a lot of bench down. Caitlin with the steal, underneath, six points. And Coach DeCaro wants a timeout talking is over with his Bears as the Cats are up to a seven-point lead. It's 9-2 with 5.30 left to go here in the first on this Tuesday, December 13th. So, yeah, the girls uh, opened up uh, on December 9th. They lost up in Amesburg 50-41. And uh, I tell you, we're going to be busy here the next couple weeks. I hope everybody gets tired of my voice. We got four games this week, uh, including Dave, Moore Cla Dave Moore's Classic, uh, tipping off tomorrow. And then we'll have the girls back here uh, playing Oxbow on Thursday. And then, of course, the finals of the, and the consolation game of the Dave Morse uh, Classic here on Friday. And then next week, we got four games as well. So we're going to be busy. Going to be busy. Danville on the inbounds. Cats press. So far, Coach Lum's press has written been textbook. Caitlin with a tie up with uh, Potter. Possession arrow gives the ball to your Lady Cats. Turnaround underneath. Caitlin just having a way underneath the basket. Eight points for the junior. Nine point lead for the Lady Cats. Jump ball, possession will give the ball to the Bears on this one. And bounce. Alexis Christensen. Everybody thought it was off the end ball, but they didn't. Pass in. Say Young. Top of the key. Gillespie on her. Turn, spins, pass over. Hart. Open shot. Sinks it. Nothing but net. Beautiful shot. Over Clark, the senior for the Bears. Down underneath. Lacey Potter working hard. In comes Haley Mitchell. Gillespie's going to get a break. It'll be Lacey Potter on the inbounds. Gets it over to Young. Young double team quickly by Tessa and Haley. That left uh, Potter open. Potter, cross, Clark. Misses that one. Huss is in the trying to get the rebound, but uh, Christensen beat it in that one. Got the body inside. 4.29 left to go here in the first quarter. Cats up 11 to 4. The barefoot Contessa, Tessa Luther, on the inbounds to KKK Caitlin. Christensen inside, Davison. Double team, gets it over to Mitchell, puts up the shot short. Davison with the rebound. Move the ball around here a little bit. Christensen works it back inside. Mitchell turn around, nothing there. Kylie Hong all over her inside. Pass back out. Davison looking to drive. Comes up short. Travels. What a call travel. Davison doesn't like the call. Julie, the girls here are going to come in, and Caitlin's going to come out. Bears 
Sadie Young back out. Shot off by Lauren Jonkis. There's Clark on the far side. Young draws a foul. Sadie Young will go to the line. Sloan Morris is going to come in. Lily Clark's going to get a breather. The foul was on Haley Mitchin. Haley's in my program. She's number 33. She's right number 30. Here's Jonkis. Nice pass inside. Potter. Loses the dribble for a moment. Gets it. Julia all over. Pass back out. Young is going to drive inside. Throw up a shot. Doesn't go. Rebound Mitchett. Comes Tessa. Over to Isabel Gowan. Gowan back out. Tessa. Drive. Shot. Doesn't drop. Tessa gets the ball. Didn't get her own rebound. She's trying to. Kelly Hung right there. 302 left to go in the first period. Cats up 11-4. Foul called on Tessa Luther. Bears looking to break the press. Isabella is so quick. So quick. Freshman. Go for the Bears rebound. Mitchell. Isabel, nice touch pass into Haley. Couldn't come up with it. Spoke back out. Alexis. Over to Tessa. Tessa drive inside. Young on her. Call is on Tessa. That would be, I think, her second. Or no, I guess they, call, they didn't call a foul. They called something. Something that I did not pick up on. Sarah Collier comes in. She picks up a quick foul. That I saw and I know. Jonkis on the inbounds. Gets it over. Slow Morse. Over here to the near side, Potter. Cross court to Young. Potter throws a three. Doesn't go. Bunch of girls fighting over that one. Danbo comes up with it. Trying to force a pass inside. There's three white jerseys. Nice pass over there. Beautiful pass over. And that was uh, Sadie Young getting her first points of the game to make it 11-6. I didn't think they had a prayer with all those white jerseys under there. They found the open person. It was a pretty, pretty sweet little pass under there. A nice shot by Young. And Coach Lumsden wants a timeout. Talking's over as the Bears have closed it to them. Five here with 1.45 left to go here in the first. Basketball action. Lady Cats here. Hazen Union Wildcat, Wildcat Den. First game of the season here at home for your Lady Cats. So on this day, on December 13th, 1983, the highest scoring NBA game ever. Detroit beat Denver 186 to 184. Took them three overtimes. High scorers, here's some old school names right there. High scorer for Detroit, Isaiah Thomas, 47. Uh, John Long, 41. Kelly Trapuca, 35. For Denver, it was Kiki Vanderway, 51 points. He led all scorers. Ang Alex, Alex English with 47. And Dan Issel with 28. Going back to 1983 for the highest NBA score ever. Shot up. Doesn't go. Rebound. Morse comes out. 
Trying to go up tempo a little bit, but Tessa read that pass all the way. Davidson was shot and the foul. Davidson now with 10 points. Off of four field goals and two foul shots. Cats up 13-6. Gillespie comes back in, Mitch it out. Sloan Morse comes out for the Bears. Caitlin completes the three-point play. Bears will retain. Potter back. Young pushes out. Kylie Hall doesn't go. Less than one minute to play now here in the first. Cats up by eight, 14 6. Tessa short. Rebound Potter. Called on Isabel Gowan. That's her first. It's going to send Lacey Potter to the line. Potter off on the first shot. Second shot's good. Gives the senior three points on the night. Hazen with a turnover. Pass too high for Young. 30 seconds left to go in the first. Cats doubling up the Bears 14 7. Look at the play. Play for last shot, they're gonna shoot it up anyway. It's gonna fall short, Gillespie knocks it back in. Six years out of bounds. There's the Bears, 15 seconds. Collier trying to tie up that one. Foul on Lily Clark, a hold. Here's Caitlin. Nice pass inside Gillespie. I think it's partially blocked by Young. Shot up, doesn't go. So at the end of one, it is your Hazen Union and Lady Cats and their home opener. Leading the Danville Bears by a score of 14 to 7. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472 5522. We support Hayes Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Uh, applications are now open for any GMTCC programs. Uh, the programs include uh, quite a list here computer networking technology, uh, culinary arts, electrical technology. HVAC, heating, ven ventilation, and air conditioning, uh, exploratory pre-technology, forestry and land management, business administration. And my daughter Lydia's going down there this year and absolutely loves it. So check out all the great problems, uh, pro programs that uh, Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, and they'll help you solve your problem as to whether you, you know what you uh, want to do with your life, you know, if that is a problem. I know it has been for me. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Danny on camera tonight, doing your first your first basketball game, your first outing here. Very exciting. Good to have you along. Welcome aboard. Celebrating birthdays today, two musical artists who I'm sure we will never 
ever see collaborate on a song. First one being Taylor Swift, born in Reading, Pennsylvania. Second person, Ted Nugent. Good old Uncle Ted from Detroit, Michigan. I guarantee you Ted Nugent will never appear on a Taylor Swift song. Never, ever, ever. Isn't that a Taylor Swift song? Anyways, back to the game. At least I didn't try to sing. Foul called on Lauren Junkus. And Alexis Christensen going to check in. Sarah Collier going to come out. Just beginning the second period here tonight. Once again, tomorrow night, it'll be the Dave Morse Classic. And that was Gillespie underneath. Five points now for her. 16-7, your score. Pass back out, Potter. Bears trying to move the ball around here. Look for the best shot, of course. Young. They stand back and reset. Hand check called on Ella Gillespie. Bears will inbounds here on the near side. Lacey Potter on the inbounds. Hand check called on Isabel Gowan. That's her second foul. Bears set things up again. Carly Hong drive underneath. Nice pass over. Jonkis with the open shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Caitlin. Tessa over to Isabel. Isabel inside, looking for Gillespie inside. Turnaround, shot, doesn't go. Gillespie with the rebound, puts it up again. She's fighting underneath him. Got a couple of green sweaters right there. Danville comes out with the ball. Jonkus with a double dribble. Jonkus a freshman. She'll be okay. Caitlin. Foul called on Lacey Potter, her second. We'll send Caitlin to the line. Shooting two. Good. 12 points for the junior. 10 point lead for your Lady Cat. 6.23 left to go in the first half. Score 17 7. Make it 18 7 and make it 13 points for Caitlin. Cats still pressing. Young shot Potter. Thought that one was going to drop. Pass underneath, up and in. Good. I believe that was Connie Hung that put that shot in, I think. Bunch of jerseys underneath there. I'm going to give it to Kylie. She was a super nice girl in helping me with pronunciation, pronunciation of her name before the uh, game with the lineups. Foul called on Caitlin, her first. Oh, 
Going to send Jankas to the line. I believe to shoot the front end of a one and one. Both teams with seven fouls right now. Change the family with Julie DeGrosier, I believe. John just misses the front end of the line. Line. Cross court, Tessa. Back out, Caitlin. Three pointer in and out. Caitlin chases down on the rebound, throws it up off the glass. Beautiful move. Caitlin Davison putting on a clinic tonight against the Danville Bears. Donka shot high and far. Inside, Julia trying to get the turn, blocked down by Young. Young's been playing some nice defense here tonight. Inside. Shot high off the glass, doesn't go. Donka battling against Haley Mitchell. Call Haley on the block. Send Jonkis to the line. <laughs> Lily Clark is going to come in. Casey Potter, get a chance to rest for a moment. One and one with 5.06 left to go here in the first half. Cats up 20 to nine. John gets first shot. Off. Rebound. Kylie Hong. Nice pass inside to Clark. Clark steps back, throws up one, doesn't go. Rebound. Hazen. Caitlin going to pop another three. That one off the front of the rim. Short. Rebound. Sloan Morse. Lily Clark. Pass inside. Jonkis loses a handle. Caitlin with the pick up there. Here's Alexis Christensen with the shots. Alexis, her first points of the night. The A to the B and the AB Christensen connection. Here's a long pass. Jonkis is not going to catch up that one. 425, let's go in the first half. Coach DeCarlo wants him to kind of go. A little shorter passes, maybe. Caitlin inside. Nice pass back out. Step back off the front of the rim. Short again. There's Young over to Jonkis. Jonkis. Lauren Jonkis, her first points of the night. 22-11. Julie DeGrosier inside off the glass, doesn't go. Back to Christensen, short, doesn't go. Christensen with the rebound underneath, somehow gets it back out to Caitlin. Caitlin's gonna pull the back, ball back. Here's Tessa, three if it goes, not gonna go. Rebound, Lily Clark. Cats. With their helter skelter out there, as Coach Lumps and somebody before the game. Creighton Havoc. And Creighton Havoc is Caitlin Davison. I got her at like 17 points unofficially right now. Jonkus was wide open, <laughs> calling for the ball. Couldn't quite get her there. 17 unofficially for Caitlin Davison here in the first half. Isabel Gallon goes in, Caitlin's going to come out. That pass off. Isabel not quite ready for it. 
Whatever you want to call it, it's a turnover. Here's Young battling with Gillespie. Young turnaround, nice shot by Sadie Young. Beautiful move. 24-13, your score. 2.40 left to go in the first half. Been all Lady Cats all the way in this game so far. Potter. Looking to move against Tessa. Over here, Morse. Loose ball, turnover. Clark goes in, uh, Lauren Jonkers comes out, and Haley Nixon's gonna come out, Caitlin's gonna go back in. With 2.18 and ticking here in the first half. Shot doesn't go, rebound. Off the top, that'll be out of bounds. We're gonna have a foul. Foul called on Kylie Hong. And that is going to send Gillespie to the line. First shot doesn't go. There's Potter. Working against Caitlin. Trying to get a pass off, intercepted by the Bears. Puts up a three. Potter puts up a three, doesn't go. Rebound, Isabel gets it to Caitlin. Caitlin drives. I believe the foul is going to be called on Young. Caitlin goes to the line. Jonkis went back in. Caitlin good on her second one. 19, first half. For the junior. And bounce. Ball back to Clark. Knocked away. I think Tessa got a hand on it. Jump ball called. Clark, nice bounce pass inside. Potter trying to spin, puts up a shot. Nice shot over Caitlin. Lacey Potter with five points now. One minute left to play in the first half. Shot up short. 45 seconds, tons of time. Turn around, Gillespie. Seven points for the senior. 28-15 lead for the Lady Cats. 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Potter threads the needle. Can't get a drop, though. Took it in for a, a nice layup. I couldn't quite get the ball to go. There's a shot up that does go, though, for Alexis Christensen. Four points for the senior. Cats doubling up the Bears right now, 30-15, with 10 seconds left to go in the first half.
opening night of a busy couple of weeks here at the Lady Cat, at the uh, Wildcat Den. Lady Cats opening tonight. Shot doesn't drop. And at the end of the first half, it is your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading the Danville Bears by a score of 30 to 15. Once again, this is Lance Hall with the call for HGTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Their sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Applications now open for a host of programs. Danny on camera. Uh, we'll be back in time for the second half. All right. Uh, second half action about to get underway here at the Wildcats Den at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. Is your Hazen Union Lady Cats in their home opener hosting the Danville Bears. Lance Hall with the call for HGTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Uh, you can check them out at uh, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Uh, applications now open for any GMTCC programs. Uh, really cool stuff here. Automotive technology, allied health, um, cooperative education, Sustainable agriculture and food system, just to name a few. Exploratory pre-technology, culinary arts. Cats have been in control since the opening tip, really. Uh, leading 30 to 15, uh, Caitlin Davison, 19 points tonight. Alexis Christensen with four. Ella Gillespie with seven for your Lady Cats. Lily Clark has two. Lacey Potter has five. Uh, Kylie Hung with two. Lauren Jonkos with two. And Sadie Young with four. All all officially incredibly unofficial. Just trying to do my best up here. Foul called. Underneath. Looks like it was on Young. Shot up. Gillespie. Danny on camera tonight. Decent crowd for the uh, home opener for your Lady Cats. Trying to have a whiteout. Got some, some, I, I like the enthusiasm from the student section tonight. The guys have been over there standing, cheering the team on. They're wearing their white, they're being part of the whiteout. Good job, guys. Christensen is looking to get that one back to Isabel. Had it taken away by Morris, but the Lady Cats come right back up with it. Tessa Luther doesn't go. Rebound underneath Young. Kind of had control. She thought it went off a Wildcat player. Referee CJ Power says it didn't. up with it. She's trying to set a screen while trying to catch a pass while trying not to create a turnover. Foul called on Tessa Luther. Ball underneath for the Bears. Across for Potter. It's by her Morris there to pick it up. Potter inside. Young spin. Nice spin. Draws the foul. Nice move inside. Sadie Young plays inside both ends really, really well, I think. Foul called on Ella Gillespie. Coach Lumsden. Stays his case with CJ Powers. Powers still calls it. Young misses on her first shot. Young good on her second one. Gives her five points on the game. New faces and new places. 
or new, maybe some like new old faces. Randy uh, Lumpson, been around the basketball forever, who's coaching the varsity girls this year. Assisted by Allison Blaney. Our new AD, Olu, who I met earlier tonight. Great guy. Shot off, nice play, Lacey Potter. New camera person tonight. Same old guy behind him. Gillespie underneath. Beautiful. Team's just trading baskets now. 34 18, 540 left to go in the third. Kylie Hung going to be called. Or no, she, she forced. Okay, okay. She's not going to be called for anything. But uh, she played some tight defense over there and got uh, the Hazen players to step out of bounds. Great turnover. Playing with the body. I'm getting, I'm getting my feet under me. First, first game of the season is always a rough one. Short. I kind of wasn't all that enthusiastic on the, on the girls' intros tonight, and I'll apologize to them as well. I'll do better next time, girls, I promise. And I'll get a chance to practice that because they're going to be back here uh, uh, Thursday night against Oxbow. So I'll try and do a little bit better on Thursday night, ladies. Gillespie trying to go up. Young White with her. Shots. Alexis Christensen with the three. She can shoot the lights out on the three, too. Kylie Hung working inside. Wants to go inside on Tessa. Tessa, her third foul. 4.48 left to go on the third. Catch up 37 18. Jonkis on the inbounds. Back up Lily Clark. Gets it back out to Young. Young trying to drive inside, puts up a shot. Doesn't go over. Remember, Young getting, getting a rebound there. Good hustle. Can't get that one to fall either. There's Caitlin. Inside shots. Bodies hit the floor. Everybody's up. And in the end, we have a foul on Lacey Potter. It's going to send Caitlin to the line. Isabel Gowan, Haley Mitchell waiting to check in. Caitlin scored on the first one as is Sloan Morse. So coming out will be Ella and Tessa and Lacey Potter coming out. Caitlin, second free throw. Short on that one as well. Rebound Morse. Clark. It was over inside. Young has that one a little strong on that one. Sarah Collier gets the pass, Isabel Gallon. Caitlin goes off the foot of a Danville player, I believe. Caitlin. I believe that's her first points of the second half. It's her 21. Again, unofficially. Sometimes I miss them, but I think that's our first place. Three, strong. Turnover, Lady Hunts with the ball. It was on this day in 1975, it's Saturday Night Live. For the first time ever, used a time delay on their audio. I don't know why. Their host that night was Richard Pryor. Yeah, one of the most clean cut comments I've ever seen. 
Jump ball. It's also ice cream day. Well, it's cold. But is it ever too cold for ice cream? Danny says it's never too cold for ice cream. Triple team here on bottom. Somehow gets her out of it, though. Nice move. She's going to go all the way down and draw the foul. Nice hustle, nice play by Lisa Potter. There are three white jerseys up right here, right in front of us. And she got away from them. Got down there and drew the foul. Haley Mitchell with three fouls now. Potter to the line. Potter. Good on the first free throw. Gives her eight points. Make it nine points for the senior. Isabel had forever to wait for that pass to come down. Jonkis, nice pass up ahead. Potter underneath. Nice move, Lacey Potter. Beautiful. Top of the uh, backboard will be out of bounds. Thirty-nine, twenty-two. You score two forty-seven left to go in the third. But I tell you, the Bears are playing tough still. Coach DeCaro coaching, players playing. Nobody hanging their heads. Playing hard. Pass inside, intercepted by Davison. Once again, as I talked about, the top of the program it was Danville, who beat us uh, last year in the playoffs, 67 51, and knocked us out of the playoffs over in Danville. I remember watching that game. Really good game. Davidson. Nice pass inside, Mitchell. Easy points for Haley Mitchell. That's her first swoop of the game. 41 22 score. 208 left. Jonathan's going to go coast to coast. She's quick. She's quick. Like it. Brian Casey and CJ Powers on the far side. Talk about what the cult's going to be. Timeout was called before the foul. Coach Lumpson wants a full timeout here with 1.48 left to go in the third period. Cats up 41 24. Once again, the Dave Morris Classic is tomorrow night. Uh, Lady Cats will be hosting. Oxbow Thursday. Uh, Lady Cats come back on Monday the 19th and play Richford. Back on Wednesday the 21st and play Virgins. Go on the road Tuesday the 27th against Fairfax and a little home cooking back on Wednesday, January 4th against Winooski. We got a lot of basketball this week and next. A lot of basketball. Dave Morris Classic, of course, tomorrow night. Be two games. Uh, if I can remember them right, I believe it's Williamstown, Randolph, and Lamoille coming up to play Hazel. Banner night, Friday night. And all the championship teams from uh, 81 to the present will be in attendance for the unfurling of the championship banner Friday night. And I tell you, I've talked about a lot of this in the previous seasons. You know, the boys' games, obviously, yeah, you know, they won the championship last year and everything. Great team, fantastic team, fantastic basketball. And the crowds really come out for the, for the, for the boys' games. But I'll tell you, the, the girls lay it on the line every night as well. And 
if you think, you know, I'm not going to go, it's, it's a girls game, you know, it's not going to be as good, I'm not going to be as entertained, come up and watch them play. Come up and watch the girls play live. They love the support. And uh, you're going to see great basketball. This is a great, you know, it's 41-24. This is a great basketball game. Both teams are playing hard. I love it. They're playing inside. Good stuff. Support the Lady Cats as well. Clark wants that pass back. We turn around, can't get it to go. Sadie Young inside. Jonkos is going to pop a three. Nails it. Warren Jonkos, a freshman. Seven points for the freshman. That's a 41 27. Less than a minute to play here in the third. Caitlin inside. Beautiful move. Caitlin lighting it up once again. 23 points now for the junior. 19 of them in the first half. Nice pass inside. Potter can't get it to go. Rebound though. Potter's going to be called on a foul. And that will send Kylie home to the line. 37.8 left to go in the third. Kylie Hong at the line. She is a senior for the Danville Bears. Home strong on that one. Second shot doesn't drop either. Rebound Gillespie. He's getting it. Inside. Twenty-five points. Good junior. City right inside. Where's your shot doesn't go? Rebound to Barefoot Contessa. Pushes up ahead. Ella. Turn around. Gillespie goes away. Caitlin. And that's going to end the third with your Lady Cats up by a score of 45 to 27. One more period to go here in the opening night of the Haven Lady Cats 2022-23 season. You're watching on HGTV channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Let us know what to call. Danny on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. GMTCC.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Uh, applications are now open for any GMTCC programs. You know, I'm going to read them all. I'm going to start from the top and read right to the bottom. we got the, we got a second here. Uh, programs include Allied Health, Automotive Technology, Business Administration, Computer Networking Technology, Construction Technology, Cooperative Education, Creative Media Art and Design, Culinary Arts, Electrical Technology, Exploratory Pre-Technology, Forestry and Land Management, Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning, and Sustainable Agriculture and Food System. There's something there for everybody. I'd like to get in on that uh, Creative Media Art and Design thing. Let's see, what else do we have going on here for useless trivia that I have for you? It's National Violin Day. It's National Day of the Horse. Uh, a couple more musical birthdays. Amy Lee of Evansons, lead singer, born on this day, as was Morris Day and the, uh, the uh, Morris Day in the Time. If you've never watched it, first off, you, this is a required movie to watch. Uh, Purple Rain. Granted, Prince was a star, but I tell you, Morris Day almost did a show in that movie with his band. And if you have not seen the, the scene where him and his bodyguard, Jerome, are talking about what's the password, you you missed a great, great bit of comedy right there. Because the password is what? What's the password? Yes, the password is what? So what is the password? Yes. What's the password? What? You got to watch it. Morris Day, in the time. Purple Rain. Student section coming alive here tonight. Same thing. I will give the student section of the boys props over there. 
dressed in the whites for the whiteout and cheering their team on big time here in the fourth quarter. The final stanza. I gotta believe a couple more minutes. We'll hear the warm up of bus turn. Turn around. Julia couldn't get that one to go. Rebound, Caitlin. Pass back out. Christensen. She's deadly from the three-point line. Not on that shot though. But there is no broadcaster's chase. Dunkus in a double team. Alexis is going to come up with it. Alexis Christensen can dribble in, throw up shot off glass, there's no rebound. Gillespie, Gillespie up off the glass. Ella Gillespie. 13 points for the senior. There's Sloan Morse. Gets it over. Father dishes to Jonkis. Side. Ella on a hand check. Three fouls. Lily Clark comes in and Kylie Hong is going to come out. Jonkis on the inbound. Gets back out to Morse. Clark. Turn around. Goes there, draws a foul. Mitchell checks in, Ella Gillespie out. Julia trying to hit the second free throw. is going to take a timeout. Here with 4.44 left to go in the game. Cats up 47-27. Uh, Caitlin with 25 points now. Alexis with 7. Ella has uh, 13. Over on the other side, Lacey Potter. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 points total. Sadie Young with 5. Lauren Jonkis with 7. I mean, Caitlin's just kind of eating, you know, just taking everybody to school out here tonight with the 25 points. She's played really, really well. Ellis played really, really well for Danville. I'll tell you, I'll give props to Sadie Young for the way she's played underneath the hoops on both ends. And uh, Lauren Jonkis is the freshman. She's doing really, really good. I think uh, yeah, Lacey Potter played real tough in that uh, third period. So, like I say, you know, 47-27, but good game. Team's playing hard. Danville 
crowd comes alive. So our crowd comes alive. High school basketball at its finest right here, folks. Caitlin drives inside. Young gets called. That's her fourth. Second one, rebound. Pass over. Clark looks inside. Kali Hung was fouled by Tessa Luther. Second shot up, in and out, rebound, fire. Wide open shot, yeah, take it, Lily. Off the rim. The only shot you don't make is the one you don't take. Just working off a lot of clock right here. Mitchell, turn around inside. Hannah Mitchell, four points for the senior. Hailstorm is a call. There's Clark inside. Nice move. It would have been a really pretty move if she could have gotten that shot to go. There's the chant, the warm up the bus chant. At least they waited until there was 2.50 left to go. Again. Mitchell underneath now, six points. And Coach Carl wants a timeout. He took a full timeout to talk things over with his charges. With 2.45 left to go, and the Hazen Union and the Lady Cats, 52, Danville 27. So Lady Cats will obviously push the record to one and one. Once again, they opened up with a loss at Venusburg by a score of 50 to 41. So we're digging themselves well here. And we got uh, three more home games. Oxbow, Richford for Jens. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazel Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. GMTCC.lnsd.org, jumpstart your future. Once again, my daughter goes there. Loves it. Can't say enough about it. Good enough. She can't say enough good about it is what I'm trying to say. She really, really likes it. Lance Hall with the call. Danny on camera. And a little home cooking was what the Lady Cats needed. And uh, you know what? I got one last bit of trivia here. This day in 1972 was the last manned landing on the moon. Apollo 17. I have vague memories of that. The last time we put a man on the moon was on this day in 1972. Back. 
Potter puts up a three that's short. I do not know who number 22 is out there for the Bears right now. Let's see if I can get a JV number and try and match it up. Uh, the JV person is Taylor Carson, a sophomore, if that is indeed the number 22 that is out there. I have no idea. So the Lady Cats come out on top in both game sides, JV and varsity. Two minutes left to go on this one. Cats up 52 27. Isabel drop pass inside. Still away from the ball. Stepped out of bounds. The entire student body letting the, letting the official know. I think he saw it. I think Brian Casey had that one. So this is like Caitlin's going to finish up with uh, 2 per 6, 7, 26 points unofficially. Unofficially. Great effort by the junior. Ella Gillespie with 13. Caitlin Mitchell with 6. Alexis Christensen, 7. Tessa's got 4. And Hamburg has 4. Once again, incredibly unofficial. On the other side, on the fish, Lily Clark with two, Lacey Potter with uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, Kylie Hung with two, Lauren Jonkis with seven, and Sadie Young with five. Unofficial. Turn around. Nice shot. Once again, number 22 on the varsity is Taylor Carson, so that's who we'll say made that poop. I guess 52 29 the score. Here's Young. Let's drive inside, put up the shot, comes up short. Behind his Potter, Tessa coming down with it. Potter playing the tough. And is that Bailey? Bailey Christensen. The B to the A to the B of the Christensen connection. Kylie Hung goes in, Lily Clark out. Bailey got into some varsity soccer action right at the end of the season. She's coming off a uh, pretty bad hip injury. 36 seconds left, Cats up 52-29. Carson shot strong. Here's Isabel. And, uh, and the foul, and I believe Young's gonna foul out on that. Isabel's first points. Sadie Young fouls out. Can't believe the call. But I'll tell you, Sadie is one of those players that brings a lunchbox to the game. She's out there working. Worked both ends of the hoop, under the hoop, really well tonight. A junior for the Bears. Isabel. Uh, doesn't, she does not complete the trifecta, the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Bet your coach Lumpson has his girl shooting free throws in practice tomorrow. See if he misses out here tonight. Jonkis back out, Clark. Trap. Nineteen seconds. Little quick. Call not a foul. Nine point one left. Out here. 
to end this game. So it's going to be a 54-29 final here as your Hazen Lady Cats win their home opener over the Danville Bears from the den here tonight at Hazen. Once again, we watch this on HGTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide archive at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. It's been Lance Hall with the call, Danny on camera. We've got a whole lot of basketball coming up over the next few weeks, so we'll see you uh, tomorrow night for the opening of the Dave Morris Classic. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.